Hey guys, it's me, Mr. 250, and welcome back to L.A. Noir. We're, uh, we're back here, um, this is what I'm gonna call Try 2. If I royally screw up a mission like this, I think... We've got a scene, Chill a out, guy. car, and a witness. I'm going to Get make a, another video of me just taking another second stab at it, wondering if, you know, maybe some scenes go differently. And, uh, you know, if you're fully cool with how the scene did it the first time, um, because I don't think it changes the game then by all means, stop watching right now. Uh, but if you're curious as to how it may change based upon how well or how poor you do, then you may want to stick around for this, because that's what I'm going to be doing now. It's going to be a bit faster than our first run. Um, I'm going to be speeding up any driving sections and anything that's just terribly boring, like uh, picking up evidence. And we will come back to normal time for things like, uh, I don't know, maybe interesting car chases or confrontations or interviews basically so with that i'll be off and uh hope you guys enjoy if it's going a little too slow for you even still just skip through the video a few minutes and you'll probably find an interview if that's what you're looking for so without further ado let us begin oh i thought i'd bring you up to speed really quick before we continue um i won't be talking through any of this except for interviews or really particularly interesting sections um so don't worry about missing anything we'll just and i'll be you know speeding through everything like uh i'll be speeding through picking up evidence you know we're not going to look at things too long think too much because we already done this we've already done this and abandoned so, see you guys in a bit <laughs> All right, so we're back again. We're going to go talk to him, just review all the evidence as you saw, um, just for the sake of so the character knows what the evidence is so we can properly do an investigation. Now, I'm hoping to do everything right, but keep in mind, Oswald I'm doing this off memory, so I still might get something wrong. That's right. What exactly happened here, Mr. Jacobs? Last night, I was looking out of my window. I like to keep an eye on what's going on. I can understand that. You see this empty lot? Damn kids play stickball. Them stick kids ball playing stickball. Always breaking my windows. Always asking for their ball back. Can we get back to the car, Mr. Jacobs? Don't be impatient, Sonny. Anyways, last night I see this brand spanking new Packard up on You don't brick. say. Wow, that's crazy. Okay, witness report. Did you see who stole the Packard? Hell yes, I did. I saw three goddamn Mexicans going to work on it. Now, last time we doubted that... Oh, we have more intuition. Interesting. Last time we doubted that, and we used intuition, I remember we took off lies, so I'm pretty sure it's the truth. Can you tell us what they were doing? Using the headlights of an old Ford so they could strip the thing. I yelled out to them, I'll call the cops. So they loaded up their car and drove off, tooting and hollering and yelling obscenities at me in Mexican. You speak Spanish, sir? No, I do not. <laughs> so how do you know their obscenities? Okay. Well, see, this is interesting, though. I like this, because now we have more clues because we're not screwing up. So let's ask about the Hispanic suspects again. After the uh, Mexicans left, you didn't go anywhere near the car? After I scared them off? No, I didn't go anywhere near that car. Now, we know that's a doubt. I remember that from last time, so we're going to doubt that, and we're going to save all our intuition for periods I either don't know about or can't remember. You went out to the car... Once they were gone, you had to take a look for yourself. I was curious. Ain't a law against that. So what if I took a look around that car? You can't be accusing me of nothing. Okay, so we got that right now. I don't know these two. Let's uh, let's look at possible suspect vehicle, because we never had that one before. Tell me about the car they were driving. It was an old Ford. I didn't catch the license number. Uh, let's use a little intuition here. I'm just wanting to remove an answer. Okay, so... Well, that's super helpful. 
I was hoping they would tell me if it was either if they would remove doubt or truth. Um, I'll say truth because you don't always catch a license number. You look like the kind of guy who notices details. You're right there. The car was old, but it looked brand new. Candy apple red paint job stands out a mile. Well, that's that is helpful though. Red paint. I mean, that's a very very good piece of evidence. Uh, yeah. Okay. Doesn't really tell us much here, but it was red, so that would be very good thing to stand out. What exactly did you see them take? They was working on the tires. That's all that was took. And last time I said he lied, but then they thought I was talking about the license plate. So let me use a little more intuition here. Okay, so it's a definitely a doubt. Right. So what did you take, Jacobs? Do you want my partner to pat you down? I found a notebook in the glove compartment. I was going to show you. It's on the chair on my porch. Thank you so for your much help, fun Mr. to get it all right. You can speak to Officer Tabo about signing a formal statement. When you get the car out of the way, maybe you could come back and do something about those kids. Well, how about we bring you an umpire's mask? <laughs> That'd be great. All right, so we got a little bit more information out of that, which is kind of cool. There, and we never heard about this Ford before in the entire previous investigation, so that's pretty neat. Let's grab this book here. All right, so what we're actually going to do at this point, um, I was thinking we should go do that interview in Juan, whatever his name is, but since we've already got the whole uh, going to the Dewey Brothers thing going down, let's just do it the way we did it before. I think that might be easier, and then we'll go investigate the other place. We can visit the Packard dealership or head back to Central and interview So we'll go to the Packard dealership, so see you guys call. there. All right, so now we're back again. We just solved the little wrench puzzle, and now we're going to interview him properly and see if we can't get some uh, good information out of him. Why don't we? If you don't mind, we have a few questions. All right, so uh, let's ask about the wrench used in the auto theft. A wrench from this dealership was used to strip the wheels from a package. Which I believe night, Mr. Dewey. A couple of Hispanics were seen is a parts. doubt for this one. We've had a spate of thefts ourselves. Comes with the location. Even bastards to steal anything the minute your back is turned. Now I said truth last time, but let's go with doubt. What are you hiding, Dewey? Spill it. You don't want the LAPD getting too interested in this place. So I hire a few illegals. It's cheaper than hiring returning GIs, and they have less attitude. Downside is, they're a little light-fingered. All right, so let's ask about association with Valadez. Packards are great cars, but this doesn't look like the kind of place favored by foreign embassies. How do you know Valdez? I don't know Valdez. The embassy bought the car. All I know is he must know a quality car when he sees one. 
Now, I think that's truth, but let's run some intuition just to be sure. Yeah, it's definitely truth. Crap! Was just it was a lie. Dang it, I screwed that one up, too. Car. Yeah, something like that. Happens all the time. How do I prove that, though? I don't know how to prove that. Okay. Well, we can get this one right. Where can we find... This one's a doubt, I remember. I don't know. Sure as hell isn't here. Definitely a doubt. Address, Dewey. Or my partner shoves her head in a car door. Okay, all right. Apartment 3, 103 Hill Street. And tell him from me. If he ever shows his face around here again, I'm going to kick his butt from here to kingdom come. Thank you for your help, Mr. Dewey. No problem. God damn that kid. I'm just an honest car salesman. Who Seems gets like illegal people? Who you can trust these days? Go into movies, Dewey. You're missing your calling. <laughs> Time to visit Gabriel Delgado. See how good is. It. All right. So now we're gonna go and talk to the uh, the lady now, because you know he's not there. So we'll go get that sorted out. So see you guys in a bit. All right, so we're here and ready to do some uh, searching and interviewing. I'll yes. be right back after I get all the clues that we got to get, and then we'll come and interview her. Gabriel? Okay, and we're back for the interview. So we got all our clues, I believe. You're in serious trouble, Miss Rodriguez. But Gabriel is not here. I have done nothing wrong. You haven't yet. All right, so motive for auto theft. Why did he steal the car, Anna? The customer insulted him. He has his honor, no? Let's pull out our last little bit of intuition just so we don't screw this up. So it's either a truth or a lie. Um, and I'm going to say truth because we said doubt last time and we got in trouble. His honor, Anna? He said Dewey's friend tried to make a woman out of him. He no longer respects this man, Dewey. He took the car to show this maricon that he is a man. All right, so we got that right, and last contract with Gabriel. Tell us the truth, Anna. Has Gabriel been here? I haven't seen him for at least three nights. And that's a doubt. Oh, crap. Anna, that's a lie. Do you want to go to jail? Do you want your baby Dang to be it, born in jail? Up. He was here. He comes and goes. I can't control him. So I kind of did that wrong. I really, really should have done that right. I'm not sure why I didn't. We found a license plate matching our stolen vehicle in the shed. Add in the assortment of parts, and we can make Gabriel for a dozen other thefts. It's time to get serious, Anna. You must ask these questions of Gabriel. I know nothing of these car parts. I doubt that. Then tell us where he is. If your baby is born in prison, Anna, the corrections officers will take it from you. You will see your son or daughter through a metal grate for half an hour a week. The start line is on First and Santa Fe. There is a spillway under the bridge that leads to the river. Many policia have wrecked trying to follow him. We will put in a good word for you, Anna. As far as we're concerned, this sits with Gabriel. Start. All right, so that sounds like a street ignore race. the guy talking. Got so now we can either that. go to the police station or the street race. Now let's go to the police station, just because I'm kind of curious because we haven't done this one yet. So we know where the kid is. Let's go stop these clowns and get him. No, off the we'll worry about the kid in a bit. Calm down. Hope this doesn't like make it so we can't do it later. But 
That's for now, I think we'll do this first. Oh, and do you remember those stairs last time? The ones I tried to drive up? Um, we're gonna have a little fun with those, because remember how I couldn't drive up them, right? Well, I'm pretty darn sure, especially considering the direction that we're needing to be going, we can probably drive down them. Probably. We're gonna find out. Oh! Oh! Oh, oh man. Okay, we're still going. We're still going. Are you kidding me? The police station was at the bottom of this hill? Wow, that probably didn't look good to the, uh, to any other officers that may have been standing around. You know, some guy just comes careening down the stairs. We have a Juan Francisco Valdez in for questioning. Sure do, Phelps. Your bird's an interview, too. And get this, he's wearing gloves and doing his best not to touch anything. Can you beat that? <laughs> Sounds like we don't want to keep this guy waiting. It's this way. Now, keep in mind, uh, this is going to be fun simply because I have no idea what we're doing, so it's going to be just like before, where we have absolutely no idea what's going on. About time. Are you the senior officer I requested? Oh, yeah, I am. I'm Detective Phelps, and this is Detective Bukowski. Have you any idea how long I've been waiting have to Have you any idea how annoying you are right I now? I made it back at the consulate, and you keep me here like a common criminal. All right, friend, let's take a deep breath and start all over again. Mr. Valdez. Counsel General. I insist on my full title. Wow. Okay, so let's ask him about the Packard purchase history. And this is going to be fun, because I have no idea what's going to happen. My secretary and driver arranged the purchase. A disreputable place, a Dewey Brothers by name. As soon as I can have it arranged, I will have my Hispano Suiza brought up from Buenos Aires. I think he's telling the truth. Um... But we all know what I think. How well that works. Um, let's just try it. Truth. I screwed that up. Dewey Brothers. You think someone from the garage could have been involved in the theft? It would not surprise me. In I think that would have been a doubt, probably. Okay, theft of consular vehicle. Consul General, we have located your car. Can you tell us how it was stolen? It must have been stolen from the consular garage. Terribly inconvenient, of course. I want the perpetrator soundly flawed. We don't do that in America. Unfortunately, we don't do that here, your worship. We don't do that in America. Okay. He said it was stolen from the consular's garage? Um... Let's see. I'm trying to think if there's a way I can say that not true. I'll say, oh crap, click out of the window. I'll say true. Crap! You didn't use the car I, last night. I'm so bad at this. For dinner, yes. But it was back in the garage by nine. I'm really bad at this. I saved a whole year for that car. Ah, dang it. Can we, like, talk to you again? Gentlemen, your duty is. Ah, uh, okay. Well, my as we, as you can tell, I screwed the... that up again. Um, let's go to the illegal street race, and I think our goal this time is to not shoot him. Yeah, I'm thinking of moving up to a 45. Yeah, I think I the goal is. Oh, uh, didn't want to go in a viewing room. I think our goal is to not shoot him because I just went to shooting him, and I think because I had it positioned over the glass, maybe that's why the circly thing didn't pop up. I say we bust so we, maybe we need to make sure that it's not we're not trying to shoot through glass. That might be our issue that we ran into. Alright, so we're here at the illegal street race. Um, gonna give it my best shot There's and not screw in the sub, hopefully. Right there. Maybe. May happen, may not. Quick! It'll get be fun away. either way. Phelps, 1247. Requesting assistance at first and second. Speaking of which, these people are vicious, by the way. Do you remember that? Like, these people are terribly vicious. They will run you off the road.
there we go. And that's how you get someone off your tail. Just destroy their car into a million pieces. Delgado is our boy. Forget the other. Believe me, I understand completely. Get your way. Gonna lose him. Okay, so our goal this time is also to stay on the uh, the concrete over here until we get a good lead on him. Because otherwise he's gonna just catch up with us and we don't want that. Enough games, Phelps. Take this game. Look out. at him. He's, I think it's gauge that we can't catch up with him get very well. Because he's got out. a lot of acceleration. Like when I go in for the kill, he just accelerates a lot. Lay into his wheel arches. Come on. And here, this is where he gets me in the water. I just, I cannot maintain that speed. Look how fast he's going in that water. God damn it, Cole, hold it steady. Okay, okay. Um, no, can we put down the gun? How do we apprehend him? There we go, there we go. Gotcha, here we go. Fuck you, puto. You should speak to the maricón. Valdez, I showed him. Now who's a man? I should have burned his fucking car. Yeah, well, you're not dead this time, so chill out, bro. Maybe we won't get in so much trouble this time. You got a foreign dignitary out as a fruit and a kitty raper, a car dealer we're going to let slide for the kickbacks, and a street punk car thief who sure as hell won't be taking liberties with other people's autos again anytime soon. That Detective Phelps is not a bad haul. You keep your chin low and your hands high, and you keep bringing me clearances just like that one. That's textbook policing, and we need more of it in this department. Yeah, that was nice. I like that ending. Okay, so our goal is to not screw up so we don't get people angry at us. Oh, that was great. So as you can see, I guess, I don't think it changes how our next mission will be set up, but it does change how our ending goes. We cause significantly less vehicle damage, uh, a good bit less city damage. Argentinian Consul General Juan Valdez gets his Packard back almost in one piece. So, all in all, I'd say um, we did pretty good. We got uh, meritorious, I believe is the word that it says. Um, I'm going to assume that means deeming of merit. So I did decently well. Hope you guys enjoyed uh, this little sped up bit. Um, I have no idea how long it'll last. Uh, probably, I'm going to guesstimate 10 to 15 minutes long this thing probably was. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, come back next time. We'll continue on in our story right back where we left off. Um, I don't I don't think they, there's any way for the story to have continuity like it continues or anyway. So don't worry about missing anything. But I hope you guys enjoyed this little bit here. And uh, tune in next time for the next episode of L.A. Noir. Bye!